EpoxyCountertopDIY.com here for a how to color epoxy or a colored epoxy tutorial. Today we're going to be taking this desk here in front of me and making it look like this. So as you can see, we're going to be using multiple different colors of epoxy, pouring it in a pattern on the top of this desk. We're going to allow the epoxy to flow over the sides. So this is going to allow you at home to see how to mix epoxy, how to color epoxy, what we're using to color epoxy, and ultimately see how different colors are working together with each other. So let's take a look up close at the surface that we're working with. Like I said, this is an old desk that we've had for years. This is old chalk paint, and we're actually going to go right over the top. It's all scuffed up here. We have some coffee stains over here. This is is, like I said, multiple years old. I think this is probably three years old that we put this chalk paint on. We're gonna pull all the drawers out and uh, allow, so we can allow the epoxy to flow over the sides of it. We'll tape it off, of course, but we're just gonna be pouring the top of this in the epoxy and then we'll paint the front of the project with a furniture paint. So without further ado, we're gonna go ahead and pull out all the drawers, start taping everything off, and start mixing some epoxy. We're all taped off here and ready to start mixing and coloring some epoxy. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mix the epoxy in these graduated mixing containers here and then I'm gonna pour it down into a smaller container and that's where we're gonna color the epoxy. So it's much easier to mix up a batch of epoxy and then color it because otherwise you're trying to scramble at the last minute. You can't leave epoxy sit in a container for too long or it will result in an accelerated reaction. It will heat up, discolor, crack, fisheye, etc. So you wanna go as quick as possible if you can have a helper, that definitely helps, especially when we're using this many colors. We've picked out our colors here, so I'm gonna have a little bit of a helper here, so that's why it's much easier to mix up the epoxy first and then go ahead and color it. Today we're gonna be using Incredible Solutions Tabletop Epoxy, and like I said, we are gonna be using some mica pigment powder. I'm gonna to link to the description below so you can find those products if you're interested, and we'll, uh, we'll go ahead and start mixing some epoxy and coloring it. So by now you're probably wondering, wait a minute, I saw a lot of colors in there and then all of a sudden you went over top of them. And that's exactly right. We originally poured eight different colors on the surface of this desk and we decided it was just a little too noisy for the effect that we were going for. We really want like a marbleization effect. So we decided to pour over top of it. And that's the beauty with epoxy. If you don't like it, you can pour right over top of it. You can sand it down, start over, whatever you need to do. So in our case, we decided to leave the base and pour right over top of it and it worked out really, really well because we got some of the undertones in the lighter colors like the white where the red from the first pour is shining through. So it worked out in our case, but I just wanted to show you guys what's possible with different colors. I'm not gonna get into all the different types of pigments because each epoxy is a little bit different. You can use a dispersion pigment, a mica pigment, a liquid pigment. Each different epoxy is gonna require a different pigment. So keep that in mind when you're picking a pigment. I'm gonna have a full write-up of this on epoxycountertopdiy.com. Just wanted to give you an idea of what's possible. Thanks for watching, guys. Subscribe, give us a thumbs up. It's what helps us to keep going and we'll be back next time for more video reviews.